drug bust today. It's the worst epidemic I've ever seen. Of dealing in heroin, cocaine. You have to get tough enough. Law enforcement is a part of the use. Drug addicts it's with spiraling into addiction. We are dying. And that toughness includes the death penalty. So there's no war on drugs. There's a war on drug addicts is what there is. And it really is a war. I tried meth the first time when I was 12. My aunts and uncles were meth heads and my dad left when I was five. My mom was a heroin addict. She wasn't locked up all the time like I was, but her drugs took first place, so. My grandmother raised me for the most part. She worked a lot and traveled for her work and my uncle and my aunts were always tweaked out. So I still raised myself and just pretty much did whatever, so. Why do you need to be numbed? A childhood trauma, and we see that the addiction is not a primary problem at all. It's an attempt to solve a problem. It's the attempt to solve the problem of emotional emptiness, of emotional pain, of isolation. That to think that addiction is a choice anybody makes is absolute nonsense. The very first time, it was juvenile time, and it was drugs. Bunch of drugs, bunch of different kinds of drugs. The second time was guns and drugs, and violence, assault. And then the third time was guns and drugs and bail jumping. I've been to Pierce County Jail 19 times. I've been to jail in California four or five times. I've been to jail in Colorado. I've been to jail in New Mexico. I've been to prison three times about 10 years total. I don't feel that I would have been in prison if I wouldn't have had a problem with drugs because I wouldn't have been carrying guns if I wasn't selling drugs and using drugs. If there was any evidence that locking people up for ever longer periods of time is reducing drug trade, is reducing drug violence, is reducing drug use, you might make a case for it. But there's no such case to be made. If we're incarcerating people for longer and longer, we're not doing it because there's any proof that it's gonna do any good. We're doing it because it satisfies our political purposes. We're not increasing the safety of our children, of ourselves, or of our society. The more childhood adversity there is, the greater the risk of addiction. Because that's the source of the pain that people try to escape from, that's the source of the disconnection and the emptiness that people try to soothe. And that also is what shapes the human brain.